How to become wealthy? How to become a millionaire? I'm pretty sure you watched plenty of these videos. Now they provide 100% some good value. However, I believe that most of these YouTubers should be a little bit more realistic. Hi YouTube, it's Yashi. Four years ago, I moved here from Italy, starting out with an average sales job in a dealership to then climb the corporate ladder until I reached a job at Lamborghini corporate to then finally decide to leave them and pursue entrepreneurship, which by the way, will happen in one week. Although I had a pretty average salary and income I was still able to grow a net worth of more than one-third of a million dollars with a portfolio that is already covering a large chunk of my living expenses by the way you can check on my wreck to riches series but enough about my life this is about you today I'm gonna give out all of my recommendations that I learned along the way that you can use as well to really pump your financial situation in your 20s you have to understand that this time period is the best one to make some really huge money moves with little to no downside, but only if you slap the like button and follow. The first one, which is extremely important, is to live like you're broke. The 20s is the only period where you can actually do it without being judged by anybody because nobody has expectations of you to have your stuff together. So live with your parents or with roommates, learn how to cook, drive a beater car, and that's all fine. Gary V even did it throughout some of his 30s, and look where he's now. And I'm saying this because of number two, save more than the average 10 to 13% that Americans do. Remember that the only thing that will make you wealthier is what you keep in your pocket and invest. And articles like this show that 10% of savings a year will retire you in 40 years. And I don't know about you, but I don't want to retire by the time I'm old on a wheelchair. I want to enjoy my money before that. This then leads to reason number three, invest as much as you can as soon as possible. When I first understood the concept of compound interest, I went nuts. 100,000 invested at the age of 20 at 10% interest a year for 30 years can become 1.7 million dollars now if you do the same thing starting at 30 it's only six hundred and seventy thousand dollars basically with a 10 year difference you lose on 1 million dollars of gains and this is why i'm so saving and investing focus that twenty thousand dollar car that 20 year olds buy actually costs them three hundred and fifty thousand dollar in missed gains for the future lastly and many will hate me for this if you're planning to become an entrepreneur and invest a lot of money. Do not worry about retirement plans. Let me explain that. 401ks and Roth IRAs enable you to invest money with tax benefits like not paying tax in the future or not paying tax now and getting money back in the future and paying tax in the future. Now, although this sounds cool, what you're basically doing is locking your money for 35 years. If you're planning to invest a lot, you can use that money for other things that make you money today and make you more money compounded throughout the next years that you can use. In my personal example, I put around $5,000 in retirement fund that if I did not do and I kept, I could have used on other real estate investment and transform it at least in $40,000 that I could have then used this year for making another $40,000. Now, don't get me wrong. If you're not planning to invest all this or not planning to make huge chunks of money in the future to entrepreneurship, businesses, et cetera, et cetera, then 401ks and Roth IRAs might be the good option, the safe option to have a good retirement. Not through specific investment types because everybody wants to know that. So number one, adult I don't love them because they're really overpriced right now. I still own them, I still like them. They're the easiest form of passive income that I have. And yes. I'm talking about index funds. Good examples are VOO, SPY, which track the S&P 500. One of my favorite is DIV, dividend, which pays monthly dividends. And I also have a couple of uh, index funds that focus on utilities such as water and energy, which for me are something that is difficult that it will die in the future as we all need energy and we all need water. Please remember, this is not financial advice. I'm just an average guy. Please talk to a professional when it comes to invest. The best thing I did with these investments was automating them through platforms like Robinhood and M1 Finance that enable you to select investments that you like and how much money you want to allocate to them every day or every week. And then you just forget about it. The platforms take the money out of your bank account and invest them straight uh, recurringly into these investments that you chose. By the way, you can get a free stock if you open a Robinhood account with the link down in the description below. Secondly, my favorite rental properties as these one provide me with passive income and I have more control over them. I can still 
influence the price to a certain extent. Now, I recently just posted an introduction to real estate video that you can check right here. And these I tend to never sell unless I'm selling them to buy something more convenient or something that could potentially make me more money still in real estate. Number three, and some people will hate me for this, cryptocurrencies. In our 20s, we should be more open to risks because if we fail, we can still recover. And if we win, we can win a lot of money, especially if crypto, but only after we self-educated ourselves. If you want to learn a little bit about crypto, I posted an introduction to blockchain video. If you would like to learn about specific projects, I also posted about them and I will post in the future about them. Right here is a video about SafeMoon specifically. The cool thing of crypto is uh, if we'll study it, it can surely make above average returns. Uh, in my case, uh, I talked about SafeMoon. It made a 10x on me, which is basically 1000%, which is far more than the average 10% a year that the stock market does for you. Lastly, I would invest a little time and money into a little side gig. In today's digital world, it's very easy in terms of time and money to create a business and grow it out. Now, hear me out. If you win at this little side gig, you're basically creating a second source of income or even maybe your way out of your salary job. If you fail, you still acquire a lot of very useful skills that you can use both for your career if you want to continue pursuing that or for future businesses you would like to open. To conclude, a very big problem I see around many of the people our age is number one, bad debts, like credit card debts, which is mostly driven by lifestyle inflation. In other words, as people increase their incomes, their salaries, so does proportionally their lifestyle. In some cases, even more than their salary increase. If you're able to discipline yourself to stay away from these, you're guaranteed to become wealthy in the long term, because now it's just a matter of learning where to put the money so it can start working for you and making more income. I hope this video gave you some good insights when it comes to setting up your financial foundation for future success throughout the next 10 years. And by the way, most of what I just said is also valid if you're in your 30s or even 40s. Let me know what you think about these tips and if you have even more in the comment section, because I might do a video about them. Thank you for watching. Ciao!